So you're thinking about moving to the Portland, Maine area, but your one of your biggest concerns is moving to a safe area. You wouldn't want to put yourself, your family, or your loved ones in a situation where they're just exposed to excess crime. I totally understand, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video here. We're going to review Safe Wives rating of main towns and cities to help you better understand where you should look to move to. If that's something you're interested in, we're going to jump right in. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about Portland, Maine and the surrounding areas, be sure to subscribe below, turn on the bell notification so you're the first to learn about the current market here in Portland. My name's Nick and my team receive calls, texts and emails from people just like you every single day looking to relocate to our great city of Portland. And we love it. So be it nine days or 90 days, don't hesitate to pick up the phone, call us, text us, send us an email. We'd be happy to help you make the smooth move to Portland. As mentioned in this video, we're gonna talk about the safest towns, specifically the safest towns around Portland. In a previous video, should be linked up here, I talked about greater Portland or the suburbs around Portland. So we're going to focus on these towns specifically because this is where the majority of people are moving to that need to work in Portland or want to be close to our main city. First, let's talk a little bit of disclaimers. One, the data that I'm going to talk about in this video is from safewise.com. This is a national blog that reviews FBI data and police reports to help determine what the safest states and then the towns, cities in those states are. Second, Maine is just inherently more safe than majority of the country. So while we're gonna talk about rankings of like where each town is, just to put in perspective, Maine is still safer than a majority of the states that you potentially could move to. So just keep that in mind as we talk about someone who has a bad ranking. Well, it may be better than where you're currently coming from. I am gonna put the blog article down below. I'll include the main rankings and how they determine the rankings, those two separate articles, but I'll keep link those down in the description below if you want to take a deeper dive, look at some of the graphics that they provide. Now that we have the disclaimers out of the way, let's jump right into the rankings. So in the top 10 towns, cities of Maine that were safest, four were the greater Portland suburbs. So coming in at number two is Cumberland. This is down from its number one ranking over the last couple of years. And the third position is Cape Elizabeth, which was ranked third last year as well. Then Gorham was ranked number six as safest cities in Maine. Now this is up from up three spots from last year. And then the seventh ranked safest city is Falmouth. And that is up eight spots from last year. So out of that top 10 list, four of the 12 greater Portland suburbs are in the top 10. So this is a great safe place to live if you want to have to work in Portland, want to be close to Portland, but you want to be a little bit safer, relatively speaking. So now let's talk about the remaining suburbs in greater Portland and where they ranked throughout the state. So next on the list is Yarmouth, Wyndham, and Freeport, and they came in at 16, 17, and 21, respectively. Now, the biggest jump, again, you can look at the link below, is Yarmouth went from position four, ranked number four in 2021. They've dropped all the way down to 16. Again, you can look at the rankings. I wouldn't say Yarmouth is now not a safe city, but that was the biggest jump out of those three. So next you have Scarborough at position 30, Westbrook's 33, South Portland's 38, Portland's 44, and then they wrap up with a total of 54 cities in Maine that they ranked. So there you have it. Those are the safest towns around Portland. As we went over, Cumberland was ranked number two statewide and Portland rounded off the list at 43 for the state. Now, I will say, take those with a grain of salt. I'm going to, like I mentioned, the link for how SafeWise ranked them is below. But just from my own personal experience, living in Cumberland, growing up here, all the towns in Greater Portland are safe and 
the amount of population you have is going to dictate where you land on this list. So where Portland has a lot more population, there's a higher chance of crime to happen versus here in Cumberland, which is, you know, 95% residential and almost they've keep that they've they're trying to keep that rural feel. So there's just less population. I mean, just for example, I don't know what the graduating class is right now. When I graduated a decade ago, I graduated with 127 kids, right? So the population is a little bit less than you would have in the city. So that's probably why you're seeing the list come out as it is. But like I said, Portland in general, the greater Portland area is a safe place to live compared to the state and compared nationally. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, my team and I, we help people just like you every single day make this smooth move to relocate to the Portland area. And that's, that's something that you're contemplating, be it nine days or 90 days, don't hesitate to pick up the phone, send us a text, message us on Instagram, send a carrier pigeon, send a lobster boat. We'd be happy to help you make that smooth move.